In this video, I'll show you how to create email list and email sequence with the Builder All 5.0 mailing boss. Hi, and welcome to this channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. I'm going to access my landing page, Gita Website Builder. Go to website, hover on the apps, and go to mailing boss 5.0. On your left, you have the home button, the workflow, subscribers, campaigns, instant messages, integration, settings, and tutorials. All right. So what we'll do, we're going to create a subscriber list. Click on see list, then create list. All right. So I'm going to call it. I don't want double opt-in. I want a single opt-in and single opt-out description. So click save, list updated successfully. So I have uh, the email and the first name. So that's the default. I want the name first, so I'll push it up. The field name, if you wanna change this, you can change it. I'll change it to, all right, so name, I can change it to first name, first name. So let's say you want to add, uh, let's see what we have here, like a phone number or something like that, which I will not advise you to do. So I'll drop it here, but I don't want that. So I'll delete it, then delete again to confirm the list data. All right, so the from email, we're going to change it. All right, so in my case, I will use, uh, I'll use uh, this one. Right, then we'll go to form back again. I don't like the first name. I just want to. Uh, email sometimes it reduces uh, the opt-in rate all right so you click on it two times embed you can copy the code you can embed it on wordpress okay or whatever you want configure and thank you page i'm not using thank you page then pages and emails so this is where you're gonna edit in case you wanna be specific with something all right emails subscribers so far i don't have any subscriber yet in the 5.0 segment don't worry much about it it's a bit advanced and notification all right so i'll go back to forms and i'll click update all right so it's updated successfully all right so we're gonna close it have uh, the email list here so now i'm gonna create an email sequence we're gonna go under campaigns email sequence so create sequence YouTube SEO. Alright, YouTube SEO set. Alright, then mail list. So whenever you see this for the first time, it's just the default account that Builder will use to set it up. So don't worry about this. So click on the new list you created. The reason why I named this set because the list name was YouTube SEO as well. Alright, so click save registration successfully you're gonna come here and click on edit on this arrow click on edit again so now we're gonna change the name I'll make it email number one you have a regular which if you want to blast one email you have autoresponder and automation is when you're gonna segment things like if you click on this this should be next yeah it's a little bit technical so i'll leave it for now but the main reason why we are doing this is the autoresponder okay then the list youtube seo don't forget don't click save yet click on template all right so this is where you're gonna type your message so the subject will be You just type it like the way regular human beings would do. Don't make it too salesy or something like that. Then click on this. Then this will be your message, but I will change it. Highlight this and I'll click on the link sign and I'll type HTTPS. So let's say this is the link. It could be your affiliate link or your website link or whatever you're trying to promote. All right. Then you click on save if you want you can make it italics so let's say i want to add an image 
drop it wherever you want. I'll click on it to edit. Close it. Let's say your logo or something like that. So you need to add sender email. Alright, so always don't forget to add your sender email, okay? This is optional. And you click save. Alright, so event after subscribe. Same day and uh, same of subscription. Yeah, it should be same. Everything should be same. Then send that to existing subscribers. Alright, so if you are creating something new and you have some people in the list already, but I will just leave it. Save. Then the last but not least, you have to activate. If you don't activate, your campaign will be running. If somebody sign up, they're not going to get the subsequent messages. So this is the first email sequence. So let's add another one. It's going to be autoresponder. And the list is the SEO list, okay, which we have already. And segment is leave it alone. And everything is still the same. Click on save. It has picked the name, the sender email. All right, so to name, it's gonna pick the first name by default, then the subject. Then you come to edit. simple simple emails but i know you have to do it a bit longer than this click save all right so after subscribe so this will be uh how many days so normally i like to wait a couple of days i don't like doing like the next day the next day i don't like that because even myself i don't like it when people send me messages like that so i'll do it like two days after or three days after then i'll click save and activate so if you click save then you have to go inside this then you have to click activate after but when you click save and activate i will show you see so now it's activated already if not you have to click here again but if you forget then that will be a problem but the first email sequence yeah you need to come here and click on activate so that's the difference yeah and you can create as much as you want I mean, if you can create up to seven email sequences, that's that's good. All right, so click on update. So now we have two email sequences. All right, so let's go back to finish up. All right, so I'm going to come back here. Click republish for all the changes made. Now come here, refresh the page, reload. Okay, then I scroll down. Right. Right, so click on the button. Click on set list. Scroll down. Any list you create from the builder 5.0, it says uh, default form before the list name. And if you are not careful, you might miss it. Okay, so just take note. Something simple, or you can enlarge it a bit and center i'll click on it again when they subscribe you want them to get to the sales page so click on this click on this actually i think it's too close so click on this click on set link then after subscribe where do you want them to go if you have a thank you page drop the link here or if you have a, a video page that you want them to visit but in my case i don't have it so i'll just click here and send them straight to the sales page which is https 
this is where I want them to go. Then I'll scroll down and click select. Then subscriber pending, okay? So this is, let's say, suppose you have a, like a, a confirmation form or like a thank you page, yeah, and stuff like that. Then after this will be like a, the sales page. But in my case, no thank you page and all those things. So I'm just giving them access to the link. So right click and paste your affiliate link or whatever link then click select if you are doing affiliate marketing and you want them to download like a uh, something or go to a thank you page or a video sales page yeah here before the offer page okay so this is the offer page or the last page for sales and stuff like that all right sometimes i have to take my time to explain this you know area a bit okay so let's say you're doing clickbank or digistore this is where your final sales page will come okay but if you don't have thank you page and stuff like that put your affiliate link here and there okay then click save click on save that's fine all right so now this is the link i'm gonna close it quick we have to optimize the mobile version so go here and okay so this will be first so you click on it then click move up uh, this will be second click move up this will be third move up and yeah the rest everything is okay then i'll go back to okay so the tablet and the mobile version they are all the same so go back so what i do when i go back i try to come back again just to make sure okay then go back one more time then click save that's fine then close it then the last but not least before you close go back to your editing page that's the home editing page and click on republish because we made changes now when i click uh, republish for the last time at least i give myself between three minutes to five minutes for everything to you know work out good then after i'll come back here i'm gonna try it go to website because like i told you when you save it and you republish, you have to give yourself like three to five minutes. So I'll refresh and see. All good now. All right. All right. So we're going to test it and add my email. Access now. Boom. So you see, it brought me to the sales page. Okay. So what the potential client has to do is to sign up and you know go from there so now i'm gonna have to go check it in mailing boss so go back here go to apps mailing boss 5.0 see list there you go subscribers i have one subscriber to make hundred dollars a day consistently feels good but it's not that easy without a sales funnel the best strategy is to subscribe to an all-in-one website builder with a robust email marketing campaign solution and that's where Builder All comes in. Now, compared to its competitors, you will save between $27 to $430 per month because Builder All is just $69.90 per month at making this video. All right, so if you don't have Builder All account, I'll put the link in the description box. You can click on it to sign up. And also, I have tutorials on Builder All so you can check them out. All right.
so that's how it works please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check out other videos on the channel because i'll be bringing more videos every week on how to make money online affiliate marketing and email marketing all right so take care and have a wonderful day bye for now